John here guys and today we're talking about race day quads new radio design rendering that they released as part of a very exciting drone economics video now we have featured lots of different stories on drone economics some good some missteps some blunders but also the exciting and the positive and this may be the most exciting episode thus far this is tyler's post from earlier had one hinted at it a few weeks ago but race day quad is working on our own transmitter in partnership with an established radio brand in your hand the radio is smaller than qx7 but larger than next light built in fry sky with model support for every other protocol as well as full crossfire support our target price is 125 dollars and features are listed on the graphic let us know what you think about the design feature set and price um, so before we dive in and dissect Race Day Quad's new amazing radio design rendering, let's talk about the landscape of radios in this hobby. We have long been without a perfect radio in this hobby. Sure, the old heads will tell you that a gigantic Futaba clone shell Tyrannus X9D or Spectrum Gigantavision is the best thing around, but that's just because they're doing RC way back when motors were made out of wood and radios were the size of mainframe computers. But make no mistake, they are titanic sized pieces of furniture. I mean, you can turn over an X9D, add a few cushions, and you literally have a nice love seat. But I don't want to carry around such a thing with me. How do you comfortably do that? Um, you know, then they came out with the more affordable QX7 that is kind of smaller, it's kind of thinner, a little more brick-like, but it's also kind of wider, it's a little bit lighter, but it's still large. And these switches that hang off of it all over the place are delicate, meaning that you have to carry a gigantic suitcase size carrying case. Um, that makes you just look like you're walking around like the Bagman in an old movie, carrying a case full of money. What the? Have they called yet? What the hell is this? My dirty undies, dude. Laundry. The whites. Walter, I'm sure there's a reason you brought your dirty undies, man. That's right. Because of this case, it's just harder and harder to pack up all your stuff in a backpack and go, just go out whooping somewhere. Sometimes I don't want to have to carry a huge thing. Those of us that race have resorted to carrying around rolling giant toolboxes because you just can't fit everything. You know, now if you're a freestyler and you don't want to hang in your quads off the you know the back of your thing you can maybe get away with it sometimes if you're traveling but it's just not comfortable for us races we need three or four quads we need our charger and our tools to do repairs in the field Ugh. you know so what have we had along the way you know the turnigy evolution was essentially the size of an xbox one controller so it's about this size um it was okay but it was running fly sky's junky protocol now people will try to res remind you that it actually does have better latency than s bus but it's just not a good standard the receivers are junky it the radio itself is good Ugh, next came the x light and we thought that was the answer to all of our prayers finally a small but still light and nice and easy to fit transmitter but along with that release came some glaring issues it won't charge via USB. What the heck? Why? It comes with a weirdly sized battery requirement of 18500 batteries that it doesn't even ship with. How many people do you think on launch day got their radio not realizing that it actually takes those instead of 18650s and couldn't even use it? Yes, it has the little nubs you could buy for an extra 20 bucks now, but that sucks. It can't run Crossfire easily without some weird 3D printed mods, but most glaringly it has tiny throw gimbals. Hall sensor gimbals, true, but they're just a little too tiny. What is this? A gimbal for ants? I mean, come on. Ugh, it would almost be the perfect radio if you could at least get the gimbal size a little bit bigger. Um, so it's good enough for a lot of people to use. A lot of people do use it. I've thought about buying a second radio just to have one portable for whoop stuff, but is it really worth buying two radios? You know, just, for myself to test it how I actually went as so far as to buy this jumper light and it's comically small you know you can't really tell how small this thing is but the gimbals are just absolutely toy great this thing feels like something made by it's it's just really chintzy I mean I don't I mean I'm gonna test it out it's kind of cool to get started but you're not gonna be doing any performance flying with this thing so that's not the answer either these jumper things now I will say that the larger jumpers do have hall sensor gimbals and those may be a decent option um, so, you know, if you have one, don't cry. It's not the worst thing ever. But one thing that we were really excited for was the Dark Knight. It was amazing. A nice size, beautiful design with hall sensor gimbals, 
full stick throw, expandable module bay, perfect in every way. The shield that fits over the front allowed it to be portable without needing a giant case. You could just throw it in your bag and it would be productive, but due to the native Fly Sky support, and you can't run FR Sky without needing a module that costs extra, making it impossible to run Crossfire, you know, and FR Sky without swapping modules every time you want to fly. These modules aren't just like popping in and out an SD card. Those pins are a little fiddly. It's just not something that you're going to want to do all the time. Ugh, what a bummer. And this, in addition to that very beta OS that comes installed on this thing, makes it more fiddly than you'd expect from the Dark Knight. Enter this race day quads radio rendering. This is a thing of beauty, guys. It is awesome looking. It's in between the sizes of these two things here. So maybe that's the sweet spot. Maybe that's the just right from the three little bears that we've all been waiting for. So let's take the opportunity to tune in and follow development of this product and be engaged in its development timeline. How often with other industries, companies, do you get to be involved throughout the process? They're actively seeking and asking for feedback wanting opinions so let's all chime in and tell them what we want now i have a list of requirements needed for any good radio design that could help usurp tyrannus's dominance and this new radio has many of them so let's look take a look and run down the list one it has a small size check charging inside the case that's currently unknown open tx likely yes whole sensor gimbals with a full throw yes from the image it looks like it's gonna have a good throw size Cover clip like the Evo or the Dark Knight to allow throwing in a bag without a full case. That's still yet to be seen. Hopefully they'll come up with a solution to that or a very small case. Enough switches. It looks like it from the from the rendering. Crossfire module support. Yes. Module support that'll support other um, protocols. Yes. No problem. It has native FR Sky. Outstanding. Will it be small enough? Will it be better than the jumper? There it is, Excalibur. Wow. Time will tell, guys. A Nirvana FR Sky would be the ultimate, but will this meet the needs? Um, I still have to say, I think that the Nirvana has such a great design, but it's lacking, and this is looking to beat it in features. So I'll take the required features over, over the design any day. Um, can I finally give up having to want two different radios? Can I have one radio that will, you know, basically meet all the needs that you could possibly imagine? Now let's take a look, a detailed look at the rendering itself. Oh my gosh, guys, this thing is absolutely stunning. Look at the carbon fiber accents. Take in the beautiful gimbal design. Take in the size of it. Based on how big the gimbals are and the switches are, we really can tell that it is a good middle ground. In fact, if I had to guess i'd say it would fit somewhere in the center of your qx7 Ooh, very very cool i do like that quite a bit so i don't know guys what's the verdict let's go down some of the other features that i hadn't thought of one power indicator led Ooh, i didn't think of that but very cool antenna connector native also very nice so that you don't have to deal with this kind of you know qx7 doing some weird mods um, it has some um, multiple menu buttons. That's cool. It has micro USB support. Finally, we can get rid of this stupid, um, you know, middle USB or whatever the heck the Tyrannus things use. And the USB port is located on the top. Perfect for simulator use. Now, will it be able to charge through that same USB port? That remains to be seen yet, guys, but hopefully it will. It has plenty of navigation scroll wheels that look nice. Uh, screen seems to be good the battery slot like i don't really care if it takes 18650s or a tyrannus style battery either one would be fine as long as it can charge on um, through the usb like we said has a really cool carbon fiber front plate uh four trim tabs and a microphone hmm you know i i've heard of having two turntables and a microphone not four trim tabs but you know maybe that'll work too so what do you guys think are you excited about this how long do you think it's going to take don't be expecting this in a month or two guys race day quads is not apple they're not sony they're not even dji but they're a player in this space and it's great of them to do this it's great of them to get this you know hype going early let's see how long it takes note the timelines note the community engagement very positive so thanks for tyler for sharing this photo 
um, and let's just follow it. You know, you future business guys, you future engineers, inventors, businessmen, follow what these guys are doing, see the ups and downs, see how much they're able to listen to the community. And I would say if the final product is missing any of these features, you know, especially the charging through USB and the ability to throw you know easily into a bag by either having a small case or a, or a front you know clipping on thing like the Nirvana or the Evolution, then just please you know bump the price up another 10 bucks and include some of those really important features that will really make all of our days. I would love to be able to run only one radio instead of having to keep trying to figure out the perfect combination of two. So come on, guys, let's do it. It will be mine. Oh yes, it will be mine. So give these guys feedback. Um, go join the Race Day Quads Facebook group if you want to follow development even closer. And let's see what this yields. Awesome, uh, good job Race Day Quads on this one. Thanks guys.